Aww, who drank the last caffeine-free diet embalming fluid that we had up here? Oh, hello, welcome to the Masked Fanatic once again. Masked Fanatics, where it's time to look at another interesting mask. Tonight's mask is one that uh, has been in my collection for many years and is often erroneously identified, is often misidentified by casual observers. Uh, for example, people who uh, haven't seen that many movies and don't know much about sci-fi will look at it and say, oh, is that from Cocoon? Cocoon was a movie that came out in 1985, by the way. And uh, they're wrong. And elderly people who uh, haven't seen many movies will say, oh, is that E.T.? And they're even wronger. What it actually is, is one of these delightful aliens from a 19... 83 picture called Strange Invaders. This guy is one of the Strange Invaders and uh, well I don't know how strange he is. He's a little strange I think. For one thing the lack of ears or any sort of uh, auditory organs on the sides there that's a little strange don't you think? Hmm? Uh, the absence of a nose that's a little strange so I think uh, all in all, I think it's fair enough to call him a strange invader. Now, these strange invaders were the work of a very, very nice, very talented, absolutely great guy uh, named James Cummins, who uh, unfortunately passed away in 2010 at the age of, I believe, only 51, I think. Uh, but he was a good guy and a very talented artist, and among uh, other monsters and uh, very creative projects of his uh, was the strange invader. Now in the movie these guys are uh, aliens who landed on Earth back in the 1950s and they don't really realize that Earth culture keeps changing. So to them it's still like the 1950s and they still talk and dress and act uh, pretty much like they first learned Earthlings act when they showed up here in the 50s which is a clever idea I think. But anyway <coughs> this particular mask up here in the dust, <coughs> clean this place up one of these days. Uh, no, not you. You don't have to. I scared him for a minute there. He's not that strange. Anyway, uh, this was never actually commercially uh, put into production as an actual uh, mask that people could could purchase. Uh, but there were some molds floating around for a while in the 80s. So if you knew somebody who had access to a mold or you just happened to be in the right place at the right time, you could have scored one of these. I would estimate that there are maybe 30 copies out there uh, in the universe somewhere. Maybe more on his planet. On Earth, I'm pretty sure there are only around 30 of these. As I said, the molds, there were molds on this character that floated around for a while. Now, uh, since it was never put into production and never licensed, uh, the copies that do exist were just painted by whomever, so there's no really uniformity, uh, no really uniform look to the paint job. Uh, I painted this one myself, which again, I got this one back in the 80s around the time of the film, and this is how they looked to me in the movie at the time, so I went with, with this. Everybody else who has painted them, I believe, has gone with a pretty similar sort of a light brown color scheme with shiny black eyes and a little bit of pink here and there. Not too much other than that, color-wise. Uh, I think he's a wonderfully sculpted uh, alien. He's, he's a, uh, you can take a good look there, you can see, I hope you can see that superb detailing. Very, very detailed, very intricately uh, done, and the wrinkles, they look a little odd, they look a little, um, you know, different from how the wrinkle patterns look on humans, and yet they look uh, pretty plausible to me, you know, they look pretty organic and believable in that regard. So I'm very impressed with the Strange Invaders sculpted by James Cummins for the 1983 movie Strange Invaders. And uh, well, you might be able to find one of these because there are some copies out there out and about. I don't know where to tell you uh, where to look other than maybe, uh, you know, mask uh, websites and eBay and places like that because again, this never went into production as a licensed commercially available mask. It's just something that a few copies made it into the homes of various collectors. And uh, well, until next time, remember, um, remember, uh, when life gives you lemmings, make lemming aid. <laughs>